Hi there, good morning. Alan Combies here, Faster EFT practitioner, and this is another edition of Morning Coffee with Alan. Uh, these videos are all about my experience with Faster EFT as a practitioner, uh, working with my clients and also on myself on a regular basis. Uh, today I wanted to talk, to talk about uh, a concept that is prevalent in a lot of New Age or self-help um, circles, and it's also uh, quite f quickly becoming um, a big concept in in science. It started with quantum physics, and, and as that becomes more popular, more and more people are talking about it. And I want to talk about it uh, in regards to tapping and, and healing. And that concept is uh, energy. You know, um, EFTers like to say that we have a, an energy system, and they call the meridian system an energy system. And they say that when there's a, a blockage in that energy system, uh, that's when you have these these problems or these issues, whether it be uh, an emotional response or a physical response. Uh, they say that there's a blockage in that system, and I, I just wanted to sort of like, uh, I guess, give my two cents on that. And I really think that uh, it is energy because obviously we're all energy. Everything is energy. Uh, if we do have an energy system, it's a grander, it's, 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 it's part of a much grander matrix, if you will. And but that's so that concept can be so like out there and so nebulous, you know. And I want to know how does that help you? And so when I look at you in regards to energy, what I like to look at is what really is this system that we're talking about? Is it a meridian system? Is it a flow of energy through your body? I believe that your energy system is really just your feelings you know it's your it's your I believe that your your emotions emanate an energy and that energy literally communicates to the environment around you including other people of course and I believe that emotion that energy emits from your heart And the question then becomes, how do you trigger that energy? And is it a negative energy or a positive energy? And so the key here, I think, is that it is your thoughts that trigger the emotion, whether it's negative or positive. It's what you're thinking about. So if there is an energy system, I would like to think that it's the mind and the body projecting that energy. So if you are projecting a negative energy and it's going to affect how you react in the world and how people react to you. Right? They say that everything out there is a reflection of what you're holding inside. You know, it could be that they're reacting to what you are putting out. You're essentially telling people how to treat you. And so how do we address this? Well, Faster EFT addresses the thought that creates the emotion. It addresses the how you know you have the problem. How do you know? You know um, stressed out about money, how do you know? Well, I can feel it. Well, what are you thinking about? Every time I think about my bills, every time I think about not enough, not enough. You, you take a look at those, you aim at those thoughts, and you begin using tapping to reduce the stress, to reduce the energy, until you can think about what you want and feel good and emanate that positive energy, which is a good feeling, which is the emotion. I think that's all I have today. That was just on my mind for some reason. 
Um, you know, I, when it comes to faster EFT and helping people, I really try to take a very practical approach. What I love about this work and faster EFT in particular is that it's a very practical and pragmatic approach to helping people. It's a very hands-on, it's a very, you know, just find it, release it, let it go, flip it, move on. Um, I love that process. That being said, there are plateaus that a lot of us reach, and I was reading, years ago, I, I found a book, and I didn't even read the entire book. I think I read maybe the first chapter or two at most, and I, I'm going to not remember the author at this moment, but it was a book about mastery. And I believe it was written by a Taekwondo master. I'm not sure. But he spoke about the concept of mastery. And he said, to, in essence, and again, I'm only, I've only read maybe the first chapter or two, but in essence, what, I, what he was writing about was that everybody, anyone who masters anything will start off as they be, learn this new whatever it is, whether it's a uh, you know your tennis game, your golf game, or healing yourself. You'll start off and things will go very quickly. And you'll think, oh, this is easy. I got this. Boom, 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 boom. And all of a sudden you'll reach a plateau. And this is where you begin to doubt. And you begin to think, does this really work? You know, this tennis thing is harder than I thought. I was so good yesterday. You know, my forearm is great, but my backhand sucks. What's going on? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a tennis player. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a golfer. Maybe this golf game is for other people. Maybe this healing thing is just a bunch of hooey. Maybe this tapping thing doesn't really work. And so we reach these plateaus. And we have a choice at that point. We can let ourselves go back, you know, we can remain at that plateau or just give up completely. Or we can start looking for different things, you know. Uh, maybe this tennis teacher will help me or better. Or maybe this, you know, tennis ball will make me play better. Or maybe this racket will make me play better. And we start looking outside of ourselves for these different tools. When really, the key is to take a look at that plateau and be in it. Allow yourself to be in that plateau and go through that experience while continuing to do the work. Whether it's working on your backhand or your golf swing or tapping on your shit. As I like to affectionately refer to your problems. So, I think that's an important part because I've hit those plateaus. I've seen uh, clients hit those plateaus. I've seen fellow practitioners hit those plateaus. And the smart ones learn to master those plateaus. They learn to experience those plateaus, work through them, and guess what happens after that? You hit the next acceleration and big changes happen but you have to experience that plateau before you can reach the next level and then guess what happens you hit another plateau and in healing in particular I think this is a very very key and very important concept uh, I know that when I first started tapping I got great results very quickly um, and then I hit a plateau and I started looking well maybe maybe the answer is over here or maybe the answer is over there luckily I began to recognize these patterns you know of looking outside of myself and I'd always come back to the real deal which is faster EFT and the more I did that the shorter those plateaus became and of course I still get them. I shouldn't say the shorter they become. The, the less I looked outside of myself 
for answers, and the more I just just kept going, just kept going, just kept tapping, kept tapping. There's there's a very good reason why Robert Smith, the creator of Faster EFT, really tries to really tries to hit home the idea of persistence. He says persistence is your greatest tool. You must be persistent when it comes to tapping on your shit. If you really want to heal, if you really want to keep going, expect the plateaus. Expect those times of uncertainty. And just know that you're, you're working through it. And you're working and, and, and just sit in it, relish it. Because on the other side of that plateau is the next level up. And that's when it gets fun. That's when it gets juicy. That's when you look around and go, what? How did I get here? How did this become my life? And I think that's a pretty amazing thing. And it's really, to me, it's just the, it's the juice of life. And besides, without contrast, how boring would this life be? You know what I mean? So, I guess that's my four cents. I started talking about one thing and ended up talking about another. But I hope... I hope these help you. I hope these videos help you. That really, they're they're um, they're meant to hopefully give you just a little a little push, a little edge. Maybe something. If just somebody out there <laughs> gains an insight on their tapping, then uh, that's a good thing, I guess. So, anyway, I gotta get rolling. This is Alan Combe's faster EFT practitioner. Morning Coffee with Alan. Have a successful, abundant, prosperous, peaceful day. Relish in those plateaus. Keep tapping. Persistence is your greatest tool. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.